And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the perfect vlogging camera that finally exists and it was announced. But there is a problem. It doesn't look like a camera, it looks more like a phone because today we're gonna be talking about the video and photography capabilities of the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max, a device that actually is going to make your decision between a camera and a phone, or at least a packable camera and a phone really, really hard. All the information coming right up. Welcome back to the channel guys and before we dive into this video let me remind you about the giveaway of the brand new sony a7c here in the channel to enter is super simple subscribe to this channel right now go enable notifications and go follow me on instagram and twitter at gaston shutters i'm gonna be making the announcement on december 24 of the 25th so good luck to all of you guys yes you know the perfect vlogging camera finally exists and like i mentioned before apple has done it again with a brand new version of the iphone 12 and this version is actually a version like any other version before because we finally have very powerful features that can actually fit in the palm of our hands and we're going to be talking about some of those features now i'm not going to be concentrating in anything else but photography and video there are other videos that you can watch for everything else so Let's get started. Now let's start talking about the main feature of the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max. And we're gonna be focusing on the Pro Max because it's you know basically the uh, best version that Apple has to offer today. Now this phone is going to have very good low light capabilities, better than its predecessor. And this is gonna be thanks to a couple of improvements that Apple made in the phone. Now number one, you're gonna be able to shoot in night mode, how Apple calls it, in the wide and ultra wide camera, including the front camera. Now we're still not gonna have capabilities on the main telephoto camera but the improvements in low lights are really really astonishing guys now in this version of the iphone 12 pro max we are gonna see deep fusion actually working on all four cameras and apple really has taken photography seriously in this uh version because the main white camera has actually been redesigned and now we have a seven element lens with an aperture of f 1.6 improving the low light capabilities even further now, when it comes to low light capabilities, you're going to want to stick to the larger version, the 12 Pro Max, because this one is going to have a sensor that is 47% larger than prior version. And Apple is claiming that this is going to give you up to 87% uh, better low light capability. So that's actually pretty amazing, pretty amazing claim to make. And also shows that Apple is taking photography and videography to the next level with this new reiteration of the iPhone 12. Now let's talk about the main telephoto camera because this camera also is going to suffer some changes and remember the older camera was an equivalent of 52 millimeters now this camera is an equivalent to 65 millimeters so now we have even better portrait capabilities with this phone and it's really amazing to have all these powerful lenses and something so small like an iphone when it comes to one of the mass have features for the best vlogging camera is going to be in-body image stabilization or some sort of image stabilization that's going to give you great footage. Now, the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max are the first phone that are going to feature sensor image stabilization. Finally, we are going to have the same features that we have in full-frame cameras, APS-C camera, Micro Four Third. We are going to have it in something so small like a phone like this one, sensor image stabilization. I've seen some of the footage and it looks really amazing. It actually looks shot with gimbals. And even the shot where, you know, you have the iPhone on the drone. I mean, it's really, really impressive, guy. Probably the best image stabilization that there is out there is going to be the one on the iPhone 12. Now, the other thing is that this is not only going to assist you in video, it's also going to help you a lot when it comes to photography and lower light situations you know enhancing the details also enhancing the capabilities of out of focus and giving you really sharp images now one of the greatest highlights of this uh, presentation has been the litter technology that is the same technology that nasa is using in mars to actually allow them to scan the environment and generate an image well the iphone is going to have exactly the same technology which is also going to aid for augmented reality situations applications that you know need that technology but it's also going to be great in assisting in out of focusing in low light situations because the phone now can generate a 3d map of the real world and 
the phone can actually use all that data to know exactly where to focus. Now, this is going to be important for low light situations because you're not going to be bound by light in order to focus on an image. You know, you're not going to have the beam blasting on the person. You're going to have this scanning technology that's going to generate a 3D map off the object that you want to photograph, allowing you to focus in low light situations. This is actually really crazy, guys, and technology that right now we don't have probably in any of the modern cameras that exist. If you think that you have heard me say great things about this phone, wait until I'll tell you this because I'm still trying to wrap my head around about what I'm about to say right now to you guys because both versions, the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max, are going to feature 10-bit HDR with Dolby Vision support. What this means is that this little thing right here now can actually be a cinematic machine providing you footage that you can take in post and grade it getting the utmost dynamic range. Now this phone is going to give a lot of the current camera a spin for their money because you know we're going to have a lot of a lot of power with this phone. Now the phone is not going to replace a cinema camera or a mirrorless with proper lens uh, camera but you know just to think about that you can actually get great footage stable footage that you can grade in post is going to be incredible guys now the 12 pro version is going to allow you to do 4k up to 30p and the uh, pro max version is going to allow you to do 4k up to 60 frames per second totally crazy guys i'm blown away now apple is promising in the future via firmware update to introduce a new feature called pro raw Basically, what this is going to do is going to gather all the capability of the new iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max and generate on the fly a raw image file. Now, this file is going to have all the metadata and it's not going to compromise any of the uh, computational photography features such as you know, multi-exposure. Now, this goes to show you guys the amount of technology that Apple has at their disposal. And it also gives us a little bit of the future of photography and videography. Computational photography, computational videography is going to be a thing uh, that we're going to see, you know, more and more coming to mirrorless cameras and cinema cameras. So Apple has started, you know, making computers, then they switched making iPods, now making phones and getting into the photography and image world. And once again, you know, changing the game and fitting all that power in something so small. I'm so completely mind blown. Now, this is going to wrap it up for today, guys. Let me know how many of you guys are going to be considering getting a phone rather than getting a proper vlogging camera. In my opinion, the less I can carry with me and the more productive I can get with the least amount of gears, you know, I'm all for it. So, you know, Apple has done a really good job with this version, introducing, you know, new lens design. You know, the wider camera is going to have seven elements and being an f1.6 giving us, you know, a lot of great little light capabilities. So that's going to be amazing, guys. And the fact that we're going to have 10-bit internal HDR. I mean, there are cameras right now that cannot do that, guys, and you're going to have it with you every single day at every single moment. So let me know what you think about this phone. Let me know if you're going to be considering. Drop a comments down below. Let me know also what is the best feature that you like about this phone. Thank you for watching this video. Until the next one.